Okay, in this video we're going to be analyzing Ryan Gosling, and this is actually quite exciting for me because I really do enjoy analyzing different looking faces, and he has quite different features from the normal that we've seen in the past videos. So let's begin with Ryan's front profile first, and if you'd like to order a facial analysis, please do so. These two photos have the least amount of distortion or camera lens distortion. This photo has more distortion, so just showing you it. But we'll X out of this and then our side profile photos. I just wanted to show you this one because you can see that hair really benefits him. He has a weirdly, or I shouldn't say weirdly, but oddly sh shaped skull. Just the back portion of the cranium is too rounded. It usually isn't a big flaw or anything to note, but it's easily easily coverable up by hair. And these are the side profile photos I found. They're not ideal, but they're close enough to good. In the front, we can see that his jaw is extremely wide, and ideally so. A masculinizing facial feature at about 91% of cheekbone width. And similarly, his neck is about 91% as well. His forehead width is also ideal, so he has a very harmonious face in that respect. The one flaw that we'll note first is his face shape is too long at 1.47 times longer than it is wide. It's not extreme, but it certainly is a long face shape. His chin to filtrum ratio is ideal. Even though he has a tall chin, his longer filtrum balances it out. And he also has an ideal lower third proportion. So that measurement divided by this is about 30.9%. So right at the bottom end of ideal. It should be about one third, but that's close enough. One of his first major flaws is his facial width to height ratio. And it's a very interesting case study analyzing faces like this because we said that his face shape was longer than ideal. Usually those flaws carry over to the mid face as well. So his facial width to height ratio is too long at 1.64. Ideally it would be about 2 to 1 around there. So this is too long of a mid face region. And the same exact thing can be said about his mid face ratio. Or this line A divided by line B is about 0.85, which is really long of a mid face region as well. And one of the reasons that mid-face ratio is too low is because his eyes are quite close together. And this is one of his largest flaws. It's nothing extreme, so it's not like he's getting an insane amount of points deducted, but his eyes are 42.6% of facial width, which is extremely close together. And it's compounded by the fact that his eyes are 0.8, two eyes apart, roughly. So overall, poor eye spacing. He loses almost all points for eye spacing. And that's a major flaw, since the eyes are a crucial component to facial attractiveness. His canthal tilt, or how upturned his eyes are, is 3.7 degrees. So a bit away from the ideal male range at 5.2 to 8.5. So his eyes could be more upturned, but not a big flaw. Still, still a moderate size flaw. His eyebrows are ideally upturned, although he could trim off the hair in this end as it makes them look a little bit more droopier, so that is a bit unideal. His eyebrows are medium set, on the higher end of medium set, so he doesn't have that low brow region. They're about 1.1 eye heights above his eye line, and that's more visible here as well. And it's, it's interesting that his eyebrows are high set because his brow ridge is extremely prominent. You can just see how far forward it is. And that's one of his most redeeming strong features is his brow ridge. But it largely comes down to genetics, how, how high your brow ridge is, because some faces will have it very low. Moving on, we see that his jaw frontal angle is too steep 
and we'll see why in the side profile but just a brief demonstration here I'll just draw it like this I already measured it beforehand it's a bit difficult to draw by hand but anyway this angle right here is about 79.6 which is a tier 3 score so he loses about 75% of the points for this measurement and the good thing though is that his jaw angle harmonizes with his close set eyes and his long mid face so this angle is very similar to that angle about five degree difference which is great it's almost like his face compensates for his weaker jaw his lip proportions are great so although he has thin lips his lower lip is 1.4 times his upper lip which is ideal his facial thirds are also very good tier 2 score so he only loses half the points for his facial thirds he has a very tall jaw, but it's harmonized by his longer mid-face. And his lower third is 38 or 37.8%. And middle was 34.9.3. And the upper was 27.9 approximately. So a very good ideal distribution, meaning that his jaw is the tallest, which is masculine. Although the main flaw is his lower third is about 5% off from one third. But a good thing is that it's favorable, like I said. His mouth width to nose width is ideal. So his mouth is 1.44 times his nose width. And his mouth width is proportional to his eye spacing as well. And so is his nose width. So that is a good thing. His cheekbones are they're high but not extremely high set so they're quite close to the widest part of his face is near the eyes but it is only about 78 percent approximately and to be really high and model-esque it's about 81 percent or higher that's still a great feature though and we said his facial width to height ratio was low so that covers everything in the front and his front profile score was extremely low. Not extreme, but 44.8%, which is below average of a front profile score. And it's mostly due to major flaws, like the eye spacing and the jaw steepness. But he also had a lot of small flaws as well, that they just add up, like the facial width height ratio. But we'll see what his overall score comes out to after analyzing the side. In the side view, he has ideal brow ridge inclination, so his brow is not too flat. His brow ridge itself is very protruded, like I said, and his nasal frontal angle is a masculinized 117 degrees, which is low and dimorphic. Most of his nasal assessments are very good, so this angle right here, the nasal tip angle, is good. His nasal labia angle could be more masculine, but it's still about 110 degrees, which is ideal. His facial flatness is ever so slightly too flat. This angle here is 177.6, and maximum to get most points, you would get 176 degrees max. So it's not a huge flaw, but it's only a minor deduction, and it is ideal with the nasion. So it's just mostly due to his brow ridge that it's too flat. And the same can be said about his total facial convexity. It's just a bit too flat. His nose protrusion is ideal, although compared to his nasal height, it is not ideal. We can see that here. But overall, he does have a very good nose, and that's one of his strong points, even in the front. And that is this measurement here. This length divided by this length, and it's one to one. And it should be about 0.88 at the maximum. So not the most ideal there. His lip assessments are actually surprisingly very good. 
See the E line seems mostly ideal. The H line, the lips make contact and they meet up at the columnella here. So mostly very good lip assessments. It's surprising because he has very thin lips and his nasal mental and nasal facial angles are quite good. The main flaw that deducts quite a bit of points from his side profile and overall his facial attractiveness, he'd be a lot higher with a better jaw. And his gonial angle is about 126.5 degrees, which actually is not as high as it seems like, but the reason that is is because his mandible, or this portion of his jaw, is too inclined and steep at about 29 degrees, which is really, it's, an, it's in a normal clinical range, but it's very far from ideal. And that just leads to a steeper jaw in the front region as well. Although his jaw actually is not bad, it's just a fairly average jaw. His ramus itself, or the back portion of his jaw, is also extremely short. So this portion of his jaw is only 0.42 times his mandible. So he has a very long mandible and chin protrusion, but his ramus is too short. It should be about 0.7 ideally. And that covers mostly everything, so we'll look lastly at his gonion, which is the point about here, and it's about in line with his mouth. It should be a lot lower here. We can kind of change this in Photoshop in a moment. And lastly, his orbital vector, or the under eye region, is a bit negative. There's not a lot of bone protrusion here. And he has some slight eye bags that show from that. So overall, his score in the front, or in the side, yeah, in the side was 52.2%. So about average. And overall, he scores 47.6%, which is average, roughly. However, if we consider his features, he has lean features, and he's about roughly 12% body fat, which is ideal in a male. He has good eyebrow density, and overall good grooming and care, so good eyelashes as well. So his overall score is probably a bit higher than this. And he has facial hair, which adds to facial dimorphism. So he's probably closer to a 5 point three to five or so, which is, if we take a look and place him on the guide here. And we'll see, this is just a rough guide. You can take this photo as well, because some people have better photos and worse photos. And he looks pretty in place around here. Maybe a, definitely not, yeah, I don't think he quite, he definitely is below a six. So he's definitely not in the top 16% of males. You know, about here is, is fair enough without going too deeply into things. So he's about a top 40 percent male or so in facial attractiveness which is pretty average overall and that is basically what he is so let's go into Photoshop and correct if we can it's not going to be exact but and it might take longer to do a full change but his we increase his eye tilt the eye distance also we can try to increase but it doesn't look perfectly ideal we can lower the gonion on here to make his jaw frontal angle better. And maybe move this down as well a little bit. So that already looks a little bit better. We can reduce the chin height slightly. Um, move the eyebrows down a bit. 
want to move it too much or it might look unnatural. Photoshop isn't perfect. I'm trying to think what else. We can increase the lower lip fullness a bit and the upper lip a bit as well. And yeah, that's enough for now. We don't want to do too much. So you can see the difference there is already just immense. And this is probably more like a 60% or more even of facial harmony, especially considering the front profile change of the jaw would be reflected in the side, which would highly increase his score. So this is actually probably more like 70% harmony score. You see just how big of a factor the jaw and the eye spacing is. Just a major, major factor. Okay, that is all for this video. If you'd like to order a facial analysis, please do so in the description. And keep suggesting celebrity faces.